Hey YouTube and my fellow eBay sellers, it's Robert back with another video and today's video is one I really hoped I would never be making but I knew it was inevitable at some point. Uh, I'm a part-time eBay seller and it's been about two and a half years that I've been on eBay. I've sold hundreds of items and I've had a really good run. Um, I've had very few returns. I'm fortunate enough I haven't had any scams yet and up until just recently I hadn't had any disputes. But here I am, I've just gone through my first dispute on eBay, and spoiler alert, I lost. I did learn a few things going through the process, and if you're new to eBay, if you've never gone through a dispute before, or maybe you're kind of being faced with your first one now, and that's how you stumbled on this video, well then hopefully I can offer a few pointers along the way from you know my recent experience that help you out. Before we jump into the item in question, and I kind of show you what this process looked like, and you know all the circumstances, regarding this particular dispute. If you would just take the two quick seconds and hit that thumbs up button for me, it's a huge help. Um, if at the end of this video you really like what you saw, make sure you subscribe and comment down below with any questions that you might have. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video here and I'll show you guys the item that was uh, in dispute and kind of take you through the whole process of how it started, how it ended, and then I'll you know give you my last thoughts on it. All right, so the item in question is this authentic Kuji original sweater. And for those of you that aren't real familiar, this is a great brand. They're all handmade sweaters in Australia. Uh, really wild patterns and they can fetch pretty high price points. Little background on this one, I picked it up on OfferUp for $80. Listed it for $225, but as you'll see, I ended up taking a best offer on this for $180 plus shipping. And jumping over here you can see the details of the return request uh i originally sold the item on october 22nd and the buyer actually received it from me four days later on the 26th so a full we'll call it 35 days 34 35 days after they received the item they requested a return when the reason for the return was that it doesn't fit there was no other issues, no other complaints or you know, statement that something else didn't uh, match the description or anything like that. It was strictly that it didn't fit. I found that incredibly suspect seeing as how they purchased this right before Halloween. Uh, very likely that they just picked this up for you know, a Halloween party or something with the intention of using it for that and then returning it. Uh, or maybe for you know a holiday gathering, ugly sweater season was certainly nearby. But I didn't find it very reasonable that it would take them 35 days for them to figure out that it didn't fit. And I consulted with a couple friends of mine that are eBay sellers as to what they would do. And they actually uh, responded that I should just decline the return. Uh, so that's what I did. I declined it the same day that they uh, requested the return. Uh, based off that reason, I sent them a message explaining that I didn't accept returns past the return period for something that didn't fit when I include all of the dimensions in my listings. And a few days later, I got a dispute notification on eBay. Uh, so as you can see here, it says they filed a payment dispute outside of eBay and They've uh, disputed directly with their credit card company and are requesting the $186.90 back and claiming that the reason that they were disputing it was because the item did not match the description in the listing. So at this point, I was thinking I was you know, pretty good because they've already said their reason and now they're claiming a different reason. And I called eBay and talked with customer support for a, a real brief period uh, and the gentleman with eBay that I spoke with assured me that eBay would be taking my side on this and battling on my behalf because the seller chose to go outside of eBay and uh, resolving it and that based off of you know what he had seen with the return information uh, that you know they would be they would be fighting for it as well because they don't want to have to refund that money either. So, as we jump over here, I'm showing you a, a picture of my actual listing where I gave the item specifics. And you can see right there in the 
uh, description of the item, I did include all the standard dimensions. I specifically showed C dimensions below, uh, gave the approximate size, and you know said uh, just send a message with any questions prior to purchase. See the photo for full description. You know standard things that I include in all my listings, and I've never had an issue with. And then here we are on December 29th looking at the payment dispute details and summary. The payment institution has decided to side with the buyer. So credit card company took the buyer's side and eBay had to refund the buyer for the dispute amount and they deducted the funds from me. In addition to that, I also got the pleasure of paying $20 for a dispute fee. Uh, so eBay charged me $20 for them basically having to go through the process of this dispute. Um, you can see the total amount that I ended up owing plus the additional $20. So, you know, at that point I had $206.90 that were then deducted from my account. Uh, and eBay had already, you know, taken that amount while the dispute was in process. So, uh, it had been getting held from other funds. Uh, but you know, still kind of a pain in the butt. Now at this point, I still haven't received the item. So I actually ended up receiving the sweater back uh, maybe a week after the dispute had been um, determined and they had resolved it and sided with the buyer. Uh, it was after that that I actually received the item. Now fortunately for me, the item, I received it, it was in good shape. There wasn't damage, there wasn't anything I found that had been altered, and it was in fact the actual item that I sold. So I, I didn't get scammed where they sent me back some other bogus, you know, item. Uh, but, you know, it was quite the process. Now, in the evidence provided, that was the last page I showed where I had all of the uh, item details and the description showing on there that the size information was provided. I would have loved to have been able to provide more evidence and actually showed the discrepancy in what the buyer originally claimed was the issue versus the buyer later claiming that the listing was inaccurate, which they never mentioned when they requested the return. So they did kind of change their story there once they did the dispute. But I, I was only able to attach one photo. And I called eBay's dispute department and spent a total of six and a half hours over three different attempts trying to get through. But with it being the holiday season, uh, each time I, I basically had the phone sitting for a couple hours while I was on hold before it ended up getting dropped three times and I gave up. Uh, so I would have loved to have provided more info but unfortunately it just didn't allow me to and I never had a chance to talk with anybody and there was you know a very set period of time for me to respond to the dispute so I was kind of fighting the clock on that one too and then here you can see more details from the buyer they just put I'm sorry but the sweater is too small and is not how it was described so again no indication of how it was different from what the item was described as and quite frankly, it's because I think the buyer was full of it. So, you know, at the end of the day, I, I did end up blocking this buyer. I have no desire to sell to this person again. I'm sure they're, you know, fine person, but uh, not somebody that I would have any interest in doing business with again. Again, you can see here, it shows the evidence provided, items in dispute, and just quickly, a uh, history of the dispute. So, as you saw, they requested a return on November 30th. I denied it same day and December 1st, the dispute was opened. I had to respond to it by the 5th and, or I'm sorry, I think it was actually the 7th I had to respond to it by, provided the additional details. The rebuttal was sent to the credit card company on the December 5th and by the December 29th date, the dispute was closed and it was ruled in the buyer's favor. And I felt like I did everything that that I really had the ability to do on this uh, in terms of providing evidence and going through the process. But there was certainly limitations in how I was able to dispute it. And as you can see, you know, the credit card companies are always going to side with their customer, which is the credit card holder. So it's just an uphill battle right out of the 
right out of the gate, guys. So the sad truth of the matter is, as an eBay seller, you're largely guilty until proven innocent. And eBay is really siding with the buyer, whether they tell you that they are or not. The system is just set up in the buyer's favor. Uh, not only is eBay going to be in the side of the buyer, but if they take it outside of eBay to their financial institution and they dispute the charge, you're going to have an uphill battle. It's not that you can't win it, but I found that you don't have all the opportunities to really make your case. So you're, you're kind of at the mercy of the judge and you could do everything in your power to, to really lay it out there, but it may not fall in your favor. The good news is, there's always another item to sell. If you can eliminate the disputes by just letting people return their items even after the uh, return period, that may be the better way to go. It might save you a time and a headache, uh, and it may help eliminate the possibility that somebody is in fact looking to scam you through that dispute process. So that's my you know, best advice for you. And just you know, stay strong, stay positive. You know, we're not victims here. Things happen, we deal with them, we move on, and you just keep on going. So with that attitude, I think you're, you're gonna be more successful, whether it's disputes, whether it's returns, or whether it's just slow periods and you're, you're trying to keep that positive attitude. So if you guys found this video helpful, if uh, I mentioned anything in there that's of value to you, let me know down in the comments below. It's, you know, it's really insightful for me to be able to see what you guys took from it. And if there's anything that you, you know, have gone through this process before that you want to share down below, absolutely do that. If you have any other questions, put them in there and anything you'd like to see a future video on. Uh, I always look in the comments for those to get me, you know, more ideas as to what's going to bring you guys the most value. Uh, again, if you haven't already, hit that like button for me, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later and have a great day.